Ladies and gentlemen, it's your host, Cyber Gaming Studios. Today's video, I'm just going to show people if that if you have a PS4 remote play issue and you need to have set to read, write, and then read, read, um, I'm going to show you how to do that. So this video is just going to show you how to fix that for non for if you're using the uh, the the root method. So let's get started. So the first thing you know, I don't have I don't really have the remote play because I'm rooted right now, so. It, doesn't really apply to me, but this video will show you on how to do this. So the first thing you need to do is you need to download an application called ES File Explorer. If you don't have the pro version, you can actually download it from the uh, Blackmark Pro. Don't download it from any other ones because for some odd reason, it will just won't let you use it. Um, so that's my recommendation. So the first thing you want to do is when you're using File Explorer is to enable root. So you go down to tools and make sure that root explorer is enabled. You also have to make sure show hidden files as well enabled. And when you have both enabled and you grant access to root, you need to make sure that you need to click the root explore um, tab, and it's going to give you these um, these uh, these little tabs. What you need to click is mount rw slash w, and then you're going to have to make everything as you can see here all the way to read the rw instead of ro. Once you actually do that, just press OK, and it should be you're, you're all set. Next thing you need to do is that make sure, for example, when you move such as for, if you move, uh, let's say, uh, let's extract, uh, let's extract, for example, DualShock Manager. And for, say, for example, um, we are we are moving this to system or, some, or, or, or something like that, which you're most likely going to do. Let's see if it shows up right here. I'm not probably showing you this one, but it won't show up here, guys. So the first thing you want to do is that when you move it, we're not going to move it because we don't have a we can't restart our device. But I think we do have it in play. So let's see. So if you go over here, I believe it's in here. Oh, I gotta find it, guys. I think I installed it at one point. There you go. Such as, for example, say if you have inst installed it into your, such as, this is an app because I flashed it through recovery. But say, for example, you want to instantly use this application, or if you're installing anything, then you want to do this. You, first thing, you want to hold and press, um, hold, tap and hold, so you see like where it's selected. Then go to more and go to properties. When you go to properties, you need to make sure that it's on RWRR. So you need to make sure that, say, for example, the first thing it's going to do when you set it with with uh, with root is all these are going to mostly accept these. Um, only this might one of them might be selected. You're going to see this is just like this. You need to make sure that this 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 and this is completely deselected. You need to only have the the owner read and write group just read and then other as read don't select anything else when you're done just click ok and it will set the permissions to rw r r and then you're done owner is root and then group is root and that's all you have to do guys once you're done once you actually complete that all you need to do is go into all you need to do is just reboot your device that's all you need to do reboot your device make sure you're unrooted when you when it because if you're on if you're rooted and you try to run the playstation remote app remote play app it won't let you play it because as i said it's not before my previous tutorial um it's not going to show because it's it's uh because you need to be unrooted it, it detects automatically if you're root even if you deny it so so the best way is to unroot. So unroot, the most thing you want to do is when you go into you, such as if you have Super SU, you basically go into Super SU, and we haven't started it yet. Then no thanks. And then you go into settings, and then you always go all the way to the bottom to all the way to saying full unroot. This is full unroot. Clean up performer root. It will uninstall the super user um, application and basically either restart your device. If your device restarts automatically, that's completely fine. But if it doesn't, then just restart your device manually. Um, so you guys can have, you don't have, you don't have issue later with it. So that's pretty much how you guys can fix um, if you're having issues with P from remote play, not be able to to run because there's no read and write um, permissions. So that's all I have for you guys for this video. And I hope you guys thought this video was very informative. And I hope you guys did um, 
did enjoy it. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. As I said, if we hit 500 likes on any of our videos, then I'll be giving out Zombies Chronicles for Black Ops 3 of any console of their choice for completely for free. And this will be coming out of my pocket and the giveaway will start next, um, hopefully not, hell, hopefully in the upcoming months. So you want to stay tuned for that for that video. I don't know when exactly I'll do, do it and whenever we hit 500 likes, but when we do, then be sure to stay tuned. All right, guys, we're almost to, we're almost half we're almost halfway to a thousand guys. Let's get to a thousand. Our sub goal is a thousand subscribers, and hopefully we can get super chat enabled so we can be able to get donations because Game Room Online is coming online. The it's, the beta is gonna be already out. Um, so yeah, so I'll have another video up later today about that. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.